just this way. Where are we going? One time. What is this place? Albert, go home. One time. What? Lucy, I'm home. Lucy? I'll feed you in a minute, okay? I'm gonna go and check on Danny first.
Hey there, little sister. I see we've had a fruitful evening. What the fuck do you want? What do you mean, fruitful? I brought you a little gift. No, now, you know what I want. I'll give you a little taste when you treat me more kindly. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you, you son of a bitch? Here. You can have both. Consider it a reward for your productivity. Can you hear me? Let's get you inside. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come on. Let's get you inside. Come on. Let's go. I know I am libertine in every sense of the word. I have conceived everything there is to conceive in this particular area of expertise. However, I have not put all my into practice. That is something I have most certainly never been capable of. I am a free thinker, not a criminal or murderer. No! What do you want from me? I am ascertaining you are unable to recognize the reference. Please don't hurt my son. Alphonse Francis, the Count of Sade, otherwise known as the Marquis de Sade. Harry, 1740. Sheraton, 1840. The nature of the liberty. Lust. Pain and pleasure. I'll be saving the marking stuff. He's a handsome little boy. Who are you? You're not one of my clients. It's been a long time, Maddie.
Are you mad at the cloth? I don't believe it. Fucking hell. Sometimes neither do I. I found you on my church doorstep. You were, um, a little worse for wear. Yeah, right. And I suppose you didn't call the police because you recognise me, right? Real compassionate man of God. <laughs> that was one of the reasons. What's happened, Maddie? How the fuck do you know where I live? I asked. You're quite popular around here. Do I disappoint you, Father? Oh. Coffee. Shit. I could do it by myself. Of his impulses. Her father of infamy. Hello? Oh, hello. This is Mrs. Brooks. Um, yeah, I'm calling because I need to speak to you. There's been a, an incident involving Nicholas at the school and another boy in his class. Yes, of course. What happened? I hope nothing serious. Is he OK? Unfortunately, he had a disagreement with the boy in his class and, um... Well, the little boy concerned was pushed down the stairs by Nicholas. Could you come and pick up Nicholas, please? And we'll have a talk when you arrive. Yes, of course. I, I just can't believe that Nicholas would do such a thing. Susan, I must ask, is everything OK at home? Is there anything you'd like to talk about? <sighs> Nicholas is still coming to terms with that bus. Excuse me, I mean... With his father living. I do understand, but you have to appreciate that I've got lots of other children to consider at the school. Sure, of course. Um, I'm sorry. I think it's time now that you seek some advice, some outside help, maybe. Have you ever considered a child psychologist? We don't need a psychologist. I'm perfectly capable of dealing with this situation on my own. OK, I understand. Well, come and speak to me at least, Susan. Yes, sure, I understand. I'll, I'll come and get him straight away. We'll see you later. Nicholas, talk to mommy. This is not funny anymore. If you give me a few minutes, Mrs. Pepworth, I can print out documents for you. Your ex-husband's name is Robert Landis. 
Is that correct? Your ex husband is Robert Landis. Is that correct? Uh, yes, my ex husband's name is Robert Landis. Nicolas! 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 Can bother you. I could find you a real job. Something in the school canteen, maybe? What the fuck for? I can earn more in just three nights. What about your son? What kind of life are you offering him? The authorities will take him away from you. You want that? Hey, father. I haven't seen you for, what, 30 plus fucking years and you're already trying to save my soul? Don't mention my son again. Save yourself the effort. Besides, there ain't no redemption for someone like me. Maddie, you don't know that. God gives us all a second chance. Where was your fucking God when I needed him? Your God's just a cunt. Yet it was my doorstep you passed out upon. If you ask where God has been, take this as his sign. Sign? I'll give you a fucking sign. You're in danger here. Well, I, I don't know what... Albert, my poor sweet little naive man. Get the fuck out of here. Leave now. That's for you, you little devil. Did you enjoy pizza and movie last night? Here you go. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Nicolas, have you seen my son? No. Nicolas. Nicolas. Nicolas.
There's no captain screaming. Nobody can hear you. I want to see my son. Do you know where we are? Yeah. I'd really like to help you, but this chains. We're here. I don't know. I really don't know. That animal killed my babysitter and then took my son. What? Your son? My son has been kidnapped too. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. It must have been him. Susan. You said your name was? Do I know you? Sorry. Are you Susan Patworth? How do you know my name? It's me, Jess. 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 This can't be a coincidence. It just can't be. Why us, and what has he done with our children? I don't know. I don't want to find out. This is my son. Forgive me for smearing the touching that very much like to amuse myself with the
Commander Albert! Oh, hello, Bob. You scared the life out of me. She's nasty. Very nasty. She's evil. I, who are you talking about? The Norton woman. She's crazy. She and her brother. Stay away. Well, don't you think it's our responsibility to steer their souls back to Christ? You don't understand! They are evil. Stay away. It's a small place. People talk. Yes, I know. I spent some of my childhood here, remember? And perhaps people should think a little more about their own lives first before talking about others. Don't you think? childhood playmates. You, me, Jess, Albert, Matty. Exaggerate. Seems like you're still idolizing me. I must admit, I'm not one of God's biggest fans, but I'm sure we can still have some fun together, like we did in old times. Now, I will ask the question. You reply. Okay? Why are you doing this? I said I will ask the question! You answer! Is that clear? Didn't listen either. <laughs> it was because of her. His life came to such a tragic end. <laughs> if nature disapproved of our actions, she, why must she inspire us so? <laughs> Don't you agree? And this sentence, however deserved, brought about the end of my good friend, the Marquis. I cannot allow myself to make the same mistakes that he made. Ah, you're humoring me. 
as if I was some kind of madman. You poor deluded creature. Gorgeous! Are you looking for a good time? I'm God's gift to man. I'm looking for Maddie. Do you know where I can find her? Oh shit! You're a man of the cloth! Is it true what they say about priests? It's important. Do you know where she is? Who the hell knows? I haven't seen her for days. What's so special about her that she gets to blow a priest? I'm not interested. She's as fucked up as her mother. Ciao Cocca. Ti vedo impegnata stasera. Se passo più tardi. Yes, please, I love Italians. Eh, allora se vediamo fa poco. I'll pray for you.
Jess, Jess, Jess. Maddie. Maddie Norton. <laughs> Suppose my brothers began dancing for you. Your brother? Valentine. Preparing you for the romantic main. You might be past your best love. She's still quite attractive. As for me, I'm just a piece of pussy. I'm ruined. I'm soiled within. <laughs> if you harm my son, I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you both with my bare hands. We like submissive women who could handle pain. You can imagine what he was like. A true savage. Soon, you will get back something that belongs to you. If you are strong, you will be the chosen one. So are you ready for the main event? I don't understand. What, what are you talking about? Troy's accusations against me were false! But, but little Susan is doing well. She can handle the pain. There's no need for a poison or a sodomy. A good marriage should be equal amounts of endurance and beauty. Mrs. Norton. Hey. She's harmless and very quiet. Who knows what happened to her? I'll be outside the door waiting. Thank you. Mrs. Norton? Catherine? Do you remember me? It's Albert. Maddie's old friend. Do you remember? I was my little girl. Wasn't it? Uh, what are you talking about? Ah! 
Fine, don't you worry. I saw her just the other day, and, and I must say she's become an independent woman. Don't talk rubbish. <laughs> what about the other girls? Uh, um, um, who are you talking about? Please, Catherine, stay calm. Stay calm. Take your time. Take your time. I'll be careful. In that room. I should have wanted two girls. This was the pact. My marriage had never been a part of it. Find the prophecy. It's in the book. What? Catherine? What happened in that room? Catherine? Who 
who he's planning. Who, who are you talking about? What cycle? Catherine, what cycle? Yes, Adana! What? What cycle? The key. Just and Susan Power! What the hell does this mean? Soon the verdict will be reached. Don't worry, you'll be screwed too soon. A heavenly screw. Do you feel better now, Father? Yes, thank you. I was just a little startled, that's all. Of course, I understand. Look, I'm really very sorry. It's the first time that Mrs. Norton has ever behaved this way. We'll have to keep a closer eye on her in the future. Yeah, it wasn't anyone's fault. Thank you again. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Uh, listen, Joey. Uh, listen, I, I, I need your help. Okay. What? The God-fearing one needs help from little old me. What an honor! Look, I know your time is precious. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. What's happened? Look, I'm, I'm worried about some old friends of mine. Like, I suspect they may have gone missing. You suspect or you sure? Hard to say. Let me check something first, but. But I, I need you to, to make some inquiries for me, okay? Just, just take down these names. Uh, Madeline Norton, <laughs> Susan Papworth, and, and Jess Taylor. Okay, Padre. You realize I can't do anything officially for 48 hours? Yeah, I, I know, I know, okay? It, it, it's just, I've got a really bad feeling about this, okay? Mm, well, I've got the details. I'll look into it, but uh, I guess I owe you a favor or two. And, and listen, Joey. These may not be straightforward disappearances. It, it, it could be much more complex. Okay, Padre. Well, one thing at a time, eh? to the land of the living. What kind of fucked up shit is this? I have a child, 
you. <laughs> you have a son. <sighs> yeah, right. Nice try. Your brother's spying on us again, isn't he? Perhaps. Dad's more little. <laughs> Come on then. Cut me up a little. There's nothing you can do to this body that hasn't been done already. Yeah. I bet you two get off on games like this, don't you? understood anything, have you? Oh, well, please do explain it to me. Because you've already disconnected this, haven't you, Valentine? Come on, venture anger and hate. <laughs> Poor little Jess. You're disgusting. You're worse than he is. Show us what you're made of. <laughs> My instincts tells me that something evil is happening. Something the church must try to stop. It's our responsibility. Your instinct, Father. This is not the Middle Ages. We cannot cope with all the scandal. With the greatest respect, Eminence, the age we live in is irrelevant. I have seen clear signs that... Are you telling me now that you are God's chosen instrument for this task? That you can talk to God like a new Joan of Arc? No, Eminence. I simply believe that evil thrives when good people do nothing. Beware, Father. The Holy See won't take kindly to this kind of behavior. Albert, you are a fine priest and a blessed soul, but uh, maybe it's time for you to take a sabbatical. Father Sumner. Padre, I've sent you the files you asked for. I hope they'll be of some help anyway. You can call me Albert, Joey. Have you looked at them? I've got to follow up the case of an old woman who's threatening to throw us off off the top of a building. So I forgot to sort that out first. All right, all right. I get the picture. Thanks. God bless. I prefer a beer and Chinese noodles, but thanks anyway. Night. Try and make some sense out of this. What did you do with your life? There's not much to say. I'm a teacher. I worked for a while abroad, then I decided to come home to stay. I couldn't have children, so. We adopted Nick shortly after my husband left me for another woman. Nick is a very special child. What about you? Um, we adopted a child too. Danny. 
Just after that, my husband died of cancer. Strange coincidences, though. Yeah, my coincidences. You make me sick with your pleasantries. You know what all this is about, don't you? It's all connected, isn't it? Well done, Jess. Top of the class, as always. It is a deep-rooted belief in folk tradition that the Masonic sects perform complex esoteric rituals that feed on pain, misery, death, and destruction. According to the anthropologist Stuart Nielsen, these rituals are linked to the cycle of destruction as described in the Biblia Satana. Mum, where are you? I'm cold. I am alone. Where are you? Answer. Ladies, ladies, please. Just a moment of your attention. Whose son is born Nick God, Danny? Soon all will be made clear. I would imagine you're quite angry with me, seeing as your last meal was some three days ago. Voila! Lunch is served. <laughs> oh my goodness. You don't have to eat them alive, you know. 
<laughs> I'm not a monster. Come on, use a little imagination. And anyway, he's a mere excrement of a man. He would be indigestible. Now, you must do something for me. Why? Leave him alone, he means nothing to you! Ladies, whoever drills into this man, will see their son again. Evil! <laughs> Are you really so afraid to injure this heap of shit? Don't you remember your old friend, Father Albert Sumner? <laughs> well then, I'll just have to give you, girls, another hole. This one will certainly be a little smaller. Now, I can really feel the adrenaline pumping. There is no deceit or deception here. So speaks the elegant tyrant of fear. He holds the key to every chain that keeps these women slaves to bay. Pity the creature who follows God's will. Pathetic and silent, so wretched and still. Let's liven things up a little in here by creeping up close and removing his ear. Show me what you're made of. A quick slit, and it will be over. Your reward, a touching reunion with your son. Maddie, you are not invited to this party. You wouldn't dare cut off our here. It's not gonna make a difference anyway, is it? Give me the scalpel and I'll show you what happens. Why don't we cut off one of your ears instead, Maddie? You haven't got the nerve. I'll show you what you have to do. Maddie. 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 You were so lovely. You, you still have a chance, Maddie. Carrying out the rights of a prophecy that I'm gonna get. Shut oh. up. Oh. Shut up. Fuck up! I'm the chosen one! It can only be me! Albert, what are you trying to say? Come on, please. Susan, Jess, they're carrying out an occult right. They wouldn't bring back. Oh, no! 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 O
to take my mummy away. They asked me what I thought of her. I was only little, but even then I knew she was mad. That, that, that's not it. Uh, she, she understood. I talked with her. She still loves you, Maddie. She never gave a damn about me! But I know the truth. You should never have been involved. Involved in what? Shut the fuck up! You weren't brought here randomly. Valentina has precise orders. It's about the children. That's what it's about. It's about the children. I hate you! Oh. Oh. Danny? 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 Sweetheart, Mummy's here. Danny! Albert. Albert, can you speak? Albert! Albert. Please. Can I try... Can I try to tell us what's going on? All these years, Valentine has been following his father's orders. You were unaware of this, of course. All of us were. What the hell are you talking about? It's insane. It's insane, Nick and Danny can't be the same child. Your voice is... Oh, it's, it's difficult to explain it. They were never kidnapped. Kidnapped him out. I'm in charge now. What are you going to do, you psycho? The honor will be all mine, as I'm the most malicious. But first, I have to rid myself of you. Maddie, you, you don't have to play his game. You can still redeem yourself. I wasn't referring to you. You two aren't capable of harming a fly. It's up to me to finish things off. <laughs> Albert? Albert! Albert! <laughs> Albert! 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 <laughs> Susan! <laughs> Quickly! Give me the 
fucking whore! Find the police. Just tell them everything, okay? Go. 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 What have you done? all his goodness brought you. Hmm? Uh, rest easy. It's almost over. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. I'm just reminding you. Kill me if you want. I'm ready. But the war is already won, Valentine. God is the victor. Not your master. <laughs> Is that so? Well, the view from where I stand tells a very different story. <laughs> You're a man of principle, Albert. I respect that. Even though you are the carpenter's bitch. The police know everything, Valentine. Nice try, but it's too late for you, I'm afraid. You're really not as meek and mild as I thought. Maybe I should have let you into that room all those years ago. What the hell? Why don't you join us? Any final words? Lord, have mercy upon his soul. Now why ever would I want that? Jess will have to split up. <laughs> it will give us a better chance. We don't have a choice. One of us has to survive. To tell the police. Go. Go! Good luck.
Earth is pain, and the child and the mother suffer. Flesh tears, blood flows, enters the baby's lungs, and burns them. Life begins. Is it really you? The babysitter, did you really kill her? Who will I be the mother of? Yourself. <laughs> Please, I can't do this. <laughs> This. this is madness. No, don't. They're dead. I don't 
have a choice. It's all over now. Jeffers, it's over. Please. I'm sorry. Not this time. 